Hello, everybody. I'm Chris Berman of ESPN. I'm, I'm honored to take part in this evening honoring uh, the late, uh, great, and a great friend of all of ours, Dwight Clark. I met Dwight literally uh, about the time the nation, if you will, met Dwight. Uh, it was January 1982, so obviously it's the 1981, uh, the catch game at Candlestick Park. Uh, we had met that weekend, uh, went out to Niners training camp. He couldn't have been nicer, giving about the, the 8,000th interview after the catch. And as time would go on, and those Niners continued to, uh, to win, continued to excel, and then Dwight went on to work with the Niners, to work with Cleveland, et cetera. As time went on, of all of those 49ers, many of whom I regard as some of my best friends, Dwight Clark was my closest. And I don't speak alone, because Dwight had that infectious smile. He always had time for everybody, no matter his celebrity. And a couple of years before we lost him, he said, can I tell you something, Boomer? Uh, we think I'm at the onset of some ALS. And it, of course, it didn't seem possible. But what we know now with ALS and what we know now with so many other awful diseases is it discriminates. It does not discriminate. It discriminates against nobody. It doesn't matter who you are, famous, male, female, old, young, doesn't matter your tax bracket, has nothing to do with it. ALS is horrible. And two years later, we lost him. We would all be remiss um, if we didn't, on Dwight's behalf, do what we can, whether it's time, whether it's dollars, whether it's thought. It's just maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, Families, like, and I know Jeff's there tonight, and Dwight's family, that won't have to go through this. And we'll be able to solve this when it's early detection for things like ALS. So, speaking on behalf of everybody there and hundreds of thousands across America and beyond, Dwight, we miss you, but we're not going to forget you because, number 87, we're going to fight this thing, and we honor you tonight. Love you.